I just finished Falcon and a Winter Soldier finale, and when I saw this scene... My first question was, how heavy was this? And also, how much real rocket fuel and real technology would it mean in like the world today, in the real world? Because in the Marvel Universe, in Iron Man, ever since Iron Man, that we would always see these really good looking, sexy looking uh, thrusters that are really aesthetic, but probably would never work in the real world. So today, I decided to go down to rabbit hole, and I did, because you'll be able to see here that I did a lot of research and I wanted to see exactly how heavy it was and also find out how much gas he would actually need to be wearing in order just to power those few seconds of pushing and saving these people. I've broken it down into four parts based off of the scene here. The first one we have is the weight of the armored vehicle. Now, I actually just did a search for armored vehicle and one of the first ones that showed up was the vehicle that was used in this show, which is called Lenko Bearcat G3. Such a very cute name for such a armored looking car. And uh, as I looked for it, we actually found out that the weight of the armored G-Cat is at 17,000. Now the next thing that we have is the weight of the passengers inside. When I rewatched this episode, I actually realized there are a few discrepancies, maybe because of the stunt doubles that are in the in the armored vehicle. Some shots, it looks like there's four, some there's six, and even eight in the beginning. So I really think that it is inconsistent, but I looked at this shot right here, and it shows that there are six passengers. So therefore, I'm gonna go with six passengers. And from calculating the US average weight, we are actually at 181. So at this point here, we can also do 181 times six, which we got right here. All right, the final parts here that we have is the weight of Sam. Uh, I just searched up Anthony Mackie weight, and I looked at some interviews in the past too, and he averages at around a 79 to 83. And uh, I think he looks pretty thin right now, but I'm gonna put uh, 182 pounds, which is the weight I wish I was at. And uh, we can see that. The last number that we have here is the vibranium suit. This number, because of how new this suit is, it just debuted all the stripes and stars and spangles and whatever, just debuted on Friday, right now. So there probably isn't an accurate reading for that. Still, I did some searching for vibranium and uh, it's a fictional metal. So they could really say whatever they want. But we saw that the Black Panther suit was three to six pounds. That suit was three to six pounds. And they said that as a third of the weight of steel. So if we look at full armor during the medieval times was 42 to 65 pounds, and we look at a Falcon's armor, I'm gonna do an approximation of 10 pounds. And you know, I try to be as accurate as possible. There probably is a better number than this one. All right, so what do we got? We have these parts here. So at once I add up these four, we're gonna be able to see exactly what the number is. So first we have the armored vehicle, and then we have the six passengers. And also we have the weight of Sam. And the last one we have is the weight of the suit. So in total, in that scene where he's doing this right here, he is pushing 18, so close to 19,000 pounds of weight. And we could probably take that off a little bit if you want to be really precise, because physics wise, the car was actually leaning against the steel bars. So there's probably some weight that is distributed off there. And uh, I thought it would also be kind of cool if I were to divide this by the average car weight, which is 4094. So essentially, he is doing, or also known as 4.5 cars. He is pushing 4.5 cars on average. 
as you can see there, it's not over because I was also curious in terms of how this compares to real life science and the most up-to-date technology. So I decided to use SpaceX because I'm not a rocket scientist, I can actually say that in this setting, but I'm guessing that they're probably most up-to-date because they're the private owned, there's probably tons and tons of investment. So I decided to choose the SpaceX Falcon 9 and look at the stats there and try to calculate for Sam in the real world if he was pushing this much weight, we don't even care about the technology of the thrusters. If he was pushing 18,000 pounds, how much fuel would he be using in order to push it? So I went on the website, I actually learned a ton of stuff here, even though it is 4.30 in the morning. And uh, I actually learned that they have a lot of information on the Falcon 9. Uh, which is one of their most uh, successful launches. You can see they launch a lot of them. And uh, turns out there's also a manual that is included as well, which I never would have thought. And I was reading through this at all as well. But let's look at the main points here. First thing is that the weight of this uh, whole rocket is 1.2 million pounds. And it also says the thrust at liftoff, which I got from the user guide right here. The thrust at liftoff is 1.7 pounds so this is at sea level but at first i was going to use this to calculate um, how much fuel is being used but turns out that there is actually a full calculation in terms of the falcon 9 fuel capacity from global security they actually provide the ratio here which is for the nine engines it consumes 3200 pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen per second and that generates 850,000 pounds of thrust. So I put that right here. And what I did was I calculated the fuel to weight ratio. Now, what this means here is I can do this again very quickly is that I took the fuel that it takes and I divided it by the pounds that it is pushing once again probably could be a bit more accurate but guesstimation that's the name of the game here right this is the fuel to weight ratio essentially this is telling me this is how much fuel that will be consumed per second depending on how heavy it is so if you know where i'm going you'll probably see that the final calculation i want to do is i want to times this ratio by the original weight of the calculations that we did there. So we have it right here. This is the number. So I can do times um, 18828, right? Okay, yeah, just have to make sure here. But what are we at? We are at 70, so 70 what? 70 what? This is 70 pounds per second. If Falcon, or Captain America actually use real life technology to push this armored vehicle back up there to maintain the thrust and to push it over, it is at least consuming 70 pounds of fuel per second. But it's not over yet. I don't know if whoever's still watching, <laughs> but it's not over yet because we still have how many gallons of gas is there because I actually want to give an idea of what would that look like? Like, would he just be carrying a huge backpack of gas? And he would also need to call, uh, uh, like account for the weight of the gas too. So it's almost like an exponential equation here. But in order to see how many pounds is used in total, we have to see how long the scene is. And I actually calculated it right here that the scene lasted from 18 minutes 42 to 19 minutes and 17. So what we got here is actually 35 seconds. All right, are you still with me here? <laughs> Probably not a lot of you are, but what, what do we got? We got we got 70 pounds, that's how much it takes Captain Falcon, uh, Captain America to push per second. And we know that it is 35 seconds where he was in the air pushing it until the car just stopped and he flew away. We're looking at uh, this number times 70. At this point here, what do we got? We got, uh, we're at 2,450 pounds 
of gas. So if he wanted to do this, firstly, this is 18,000 pounds of weight. And in order for him to push this, his three tiny little thrusters would need to be carrying 2,450 pounds. This is the pounds here. So in total, it weighs six pounds per gallon. So we can do divide it by six and then we should be able to get the gallons. So we actually have gallons of gas in total. So he needs to have this many. So let's look at this one, 400 gallon tank. Okay. Oh, it's actually not that bad. Although if we put in this weight here, we also have to factor this weight back in. So that means this number might look a little bit higher. And then also this number might be a little bit higher. But overall, this is 400 gallons of gas in total, which means he would be carrying this fish aquarium on his back at that moment if he wanted to save these passengers from the armored vehicle. Of course, this is all just speculation. Like I said, I'm not a rocket scientist, nor am I a physicist, but it was a great episode. I really, I did enjoy it. I, like it wasn't amazing, but it was pretty good. And I just wanted to answer this question and I wanted to see if I could figure it out. And uh, now I'm sleeping probably at six, but I learned a lot in terms of how much information is actually out there for SpaceX. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.